Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting Limited Run Games <laughs> unboxing for Wednesday. And this is definitely one from Limited Run Games, where we open up a physical version of an indie Nintendo Switch game that is usually put out in limited runs from all kinds of limited run companies. But my favorite company is Limited Run Games. The guys over there are super freaking cool and they put out some of the best stuff. And we're gonna open up, I believe it's Giga Wrecker Alt, I think is what this is. So fun story. But first, let me tell you, if you wanna check out Limited Run Games, I do have a link in the description below. Every Friday they're putting out some games that are in very small quantities, usually for the PlayStation 4. Every other week they pr pretty much do something for the Switch. And occasionally there's other stuff too, like there's Vita games still being made, um, sometimes PlayStation 3. They just did original NES cartridges and Game Boy cartridges for some Star Wars stuff, and that's going to be awesome. You definitely want to check them out. And the thing I love most is they come out in two batches on Friday. They do like half at 10 a.m., the other half at 6 p.m. So depending on what your uh, sleep schedule is like, <clears throat> uh, you do get a chance to go for these things, because the collector's editions can sell out very, very quickly, depending on what you're getting. So you wanna have all your stuff logged in, your credit card information ready to go, because sometimes even if you have to type your credit card in, it's too late. Um, I've had that happen. That happened to me with Celeste, and I'm still bummed about it, but whatever. That's part of the fun, that's part of the gamble. But uh, the other fun story before we jump into this Giga Record, this is the standard version, and I do have the collector's edition of this coming. Um, so it, the collector's edition went for sale the day I was on vacation and made that now infamous Star Wars trailer reaction. <laughs> and um, I did manage to order it that day. But then since they have open pre-order windows that last about a month on the Switch game sometimes, this was about to end its pre-order window and I thought I hadn't ordered it. So I ordered a standard edition. And of course, you know, I can't cancel, but that's fine. I'll, you know, I'll trade it for something or sell it to somebody not flipping wise. I'm not a flipper. Uh, you know, I'll do retail or whatever in the future, maybe. But the reason I bring that up is I was debating, should I even do an unboxing of this? Because we're gonna do the collector's edition at some point in the future. But I thought, let's go ahead and do it. I'm light on video games for this series right now. So we'll open this up, we'll take a look at it. it probably has a manual, see what card I get and all that. And we will play some of the game. And when the collector's edition comes, we'll still do that as normal. And then I will just kind of continue the play from whatever we did with this version. And I won't open the actual Switch game in that version. I'll just bring this back out to complete that. And hopefully I won't make that mistake again. Um, but you know, hey, I get to play this game a little bit earlier. So the only real thing I'm excited for, the only gamble thing in this is, did I get a gold foil card or did I get a silver? silver foil card and I got a silver foil card but that's okay I got another chance coming in the future nothing else in the bag so of course we do get the limited run logo right there and giga record alt that's pretty cool that art looks cool don't really know much about the game but of course we're gonna find out and that's the other thing is especially Doug, like Doug over there at Limited Run, him and I apparently, we've kind of started chatting on Twitter a little bit here and there, and we have a ton of similar tastes and interests. It's kind of kind of fascinating. <laughs> so I know, like, you know, because I had said before that I like letting them kind of curate a lot of these games for me because I like their tastes, and almost every game they've ever brought out, I've ended up loving to some degree or another, uh, and it's just making more and more sense nowadays. So I'm sure I'm going to dig this, and again, the art looks so good. But it is Nintendo of America, and they won't let them put the number on the spine, but we do get the number back there. So this is release number 33. I think they're up to 38 or 39 as of the filming of this. I know we just did Transistor. That was the latest release. And also, on these videos, you're going to start seeing occasional PlayStation ones now, because I have some limited-run PlayStation stuff coming as well that I just could not pass up. So we do get a booklet, which we'll look at after the gameplay. Let me just try to get this out correctly. Oh, that's a thick booklet, too. There's going to be plenty to look at. Some gorgeous art on the inside here. Just absolutely gorgeous. And there is your Switch cartridge. And I don't know if I held on this long enough for you to pause and get a clear look at it. So we'll do that for just a second. And that looks good. All right, well, here you go. Enjoy the gameplay. Why job I no bada. Hey, everybody. I don't know what that was. I'm just in a fun mood. We are here to play the first round of Giga Wrecker Alt. So let's see, uh, usually you mostly do not need download patches for these games. It's part of what Limited Run wants to do is, you know, kind of give you an archival version that will be playable as long as you have the hardware. So let's see what we get. And I'm sorry, we'll, we'll check the volume. You know, I'm still working out how to best record my audio, make everything work. But yay, look, no downloads, woohoo. It's burger week, I've had a lot of burgers. Huh, I just noticed the clock on my Switch is like, it's about 11 minutes fast, or the clock on my laptop is slow. No, that's the clock on my Switch. The clock on my Switch. 
Sorry. Horizon Star Games Game Freak present 45 seconds of opening logos. Ding. Wait, what? <laughs> loading, loading, loading. Keep them switch games loading. Keep them auto scrolling. Mario. I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't think fast enough for some cheesy lyrics. Do do do. Okay, here we go. English. That's a lot of languages. I speak English. Is that? I, I was trying to do Borat. Hello, nurse. All right, press any button. Oh, it has to be on the controller. That's not any button. I have other buttons here. I'm dumb. <laughs> New game. And no, I'm not just figuring it out. We will play on normal. Yes, I want to begin in normal mode. Yes, normal mode. Here we go. March 20th, 20XX. They appeared without warning. Should I do this in a chick voice? Because killing machines of unknown origin. A wild frenzy of speculation about their identity soon followed. Foreign military robots run amok. Autonomous weapons sent to invade us from outer space, space, space. Metallic life forms from another dimension, mention, mention. Relics from an ancient civilization, Jason, Jason. Newspapers and talk shows buzzed with conspiracy theories that bordered on the supernatural, lateral, lateral. But not for long, long, long. The invasion advanced with astonishing speed. All humanity could do was watch as cities continued to fall. All, all, all. All humanity could do, I read that, until there was no one left to make wide, wild-eyed theories. Not an army in the world stood a chance against this technology no human had ever conceived of. Oh, I did that poorly. Three years have since passed, asked, asked. <laughs> the few survivors remaining in this living hell crawl like rats in the ruins of better days, waiting miserably for their inevitable capture, rapture, rapture. What's that love with the little gas? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, once caught, the old and deceased are put to death, while the young are forced into a life of slavery until they perish. Ish, ish. Amidst the misery sits a girl in captivity. The robots have taken her family, her friends, her everything, thing, thing. Her name, Rika Rekiji. 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 Oh, hold on, me. Rek. Not Rek. Rekiji. Rekiji. Rike. Rike. Whatever. Rika. Wake up. Wake up, Rika. Now I've done it. I've managed to claw my way out of some pretty hairy situations. <laughs> That's what I call a sticky situation. These past three years. Guess my luck has run out in the end. 19 years, huh? Is that all I get in this life? Not far from the prison, another girl searches the ruins of the city in earnest. I have to find her, no matter what it takes. This is the game, y'all. This is all we do. We just read cutscenes. Nothing else. There's no actual gameplay. No. <laughs> no, I'm sure it'll be cool. Oh, here we go. What do buttons do? That button jumps. There's no double jump. Okay, so we only have a jump so far. Shoulder buttons do nothing. Can't jump off of walls. Can't Mario bounce. All right. Can I hover? I didn't try holding. Nope. All right. So all we can do is move and jump. Wow, the uh, screen overlay is kind of interesting. I don't know if I like that. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty aware about B being jump already, Holmes. Thanks. Okay. Oh, what do we got? Left stick down, we'll jump down. All right, thin platforms only. So like that counts as a thin platform and that is not a thin platform. 
I don't know if I want to jump down there. That looks like I'm going to... Ah, screw it. No, that would have broken legs. I think the prison's up ahead. So I'll go the other way. That's one serious landslide. I'm not sure I can slash my way through it. If only there was some way to put it back to how it was before it collapsed. Okay, so I guess we're going to learn a skill in the prison. As a lot of people do. Locked. I haven't even tried the door yet. There should be a control panel around here that will open it. Yeah, like right there. The door is locked. I know. No, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... You're telling me I should jump, but I know the door is locked. Why? I can't... Oh, it wants me to push up on the... Oh, oh, there's a control panel up there. All right, now, okay. So you got to go down if you want to get up. You got to be dumb if you're going to be tough. Yeah. Or is it you're going to be tough if you're going to be... Oh, whatever. They must be the, that must be the control panel that unlocks the prison door. Yeah. Who are you talking to, girl? Boop. Acrobat. Look, I've infiltrated the prison. Why are there no cameras or guards or alarms? I'm gonna go make a sandwich. <laughs> Rika has to be in here. Bang, bang, clank, clank. Thud? Oh, wow, okay. Look at them eyes. Rika, Rika, it's you! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who are you? Have you come to save me? I'm so glad you're okay. Th thanks. Hey, hold on a second. How do I, how do you know my name? There we go. Intruder alert, intruder alert. You triggered the alarm. Unregistered organism orgasm detected in the prison area. Guards proceed to compromise sector immediately. They're on to me. There, there won't be time to break you out of here now. Huh? What? What does that mean? I have no choice. It's the only way. What? what? Whoa! Why? Why do you have that thing? Is that in your hand? Put it. Put it down. You're. You're gonna hurt someone. You're a good person, Rika. But I'm afraid the goodness in you is going to cause the fall of the human race. What? 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 What are you talking about? For the sake of humanity, you have to. I didn't read it. Sorry. No. 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 Wait. Stop. Ah! Huh? Oh! Intruder located! Intruder located! Capture of unregistered orgasm in prison area confirmed! Adult female test subject material affirmative! Oh, yeah. I repeat, capture of test subject candidate confirmed! God, let go of me! I have to complete my mission! Uh, uh. At least there's plenty of reading. I was badly injured. Everything went dark. Because you know I love to read in video games. <laughs> my, my. All right, all right, all right. What a sight. Looks like your left arm is, well, non-existent. And is that a broken rib sticking into your heart? <laughs> I'd say you have, oh, four... Maybe five minutes left to live if I don't talk too soon, too quick, slowly. That is, uh, unless you have a genius like me around to save you. Well, you interested? No, not really. He called himself Dr. Kazuki, and my consciousness began to slip away. I accepted his offer. I became a guinea pig for his experiments in exchange for my life. For all I knew, Kazuki was crazy, but refusing to help meant accepting certain death. So I set my pride aside and watched as my body was patched back together, scrap by scrap, bolt by bolt, inch by inch. I turned, oh wait, wait uh, I'm no longer human. I have this horrible metal arm. It's so horrible, Falcon, Winter Soldier guy, not Falcon. And who knows what else? 
But I'm not quite machine either. I am Alita. Hear me roar. I am a cyborg. A cyborg named Alita. Al Al Rika. <laughs> Rekiji. Rekijai. 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 Hey. How are you? Hey. Are you listening? I, um, yep. I'm all ears. What's wrong with you? Daydreaming again? Uh, n no, it's, it's nothing. Looks like your comms module is working, at least. Well then, let's go over this again. You want things, I want things. In other words, we need to make a mutually beneficial arrangement. The thing I want? Data from the field to help with my research. Or at least an autograph, because Prince Spiner is the bomb. And you? You want to get out of this scare factory as soon as humanly, ha, <laughs> cyborgingly possible. Well, yeah, I didn't ask you to save my life so I could get captured again. And besides, there's something I need to find out. Oh, what is it? None of your business. Charming. <laughs> Don't feel the need to share or anything. I'm only your white knight in shining lab coat. <laughs> the man who pulled you from the rubble and fixed you up. <laughs> you owe me. Look, it's not that simple, okay? If you say so, let's just agree to terms, shall we? You're going to work off your debt by exploring this place and sending me as much data about your surroundings as you can. Once I'm satisfied, you'll be free to go. Free? Heh. <laughs> With all these robots in charge? Who are you trying to kid? <laughs> It'll be a breeze. Think of it just as a little chore you have to do before you can go play. Yo play? Oh, sigh. I miss yogurt. All right, what choice do I have anyway? Good girl. Now let's start gathering that sweet, sweet data. All right. I think we can finally play a game. Like 13 minutes in. <laughs> wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Load screen. Load screen. All right, now we're, now we're doing stuff. So do I, do I have more things I can do now? Nope. I have a cyborg arm. Can I do things here? This is one serious landslide. Okay, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Can't do it yet. Fine. No, I didn't want to go in there. Or did I? Oh, crap. I really didn't mean to go in there with a load screen. Crap. Because now we got to sit through another load screen when I go back out. Doop, doo doop. I'm gonna have to change the clock on my uh, switch. No, I want to go there. I want to go to there. Do I need to do this? I probably don't even need to. Did I actually even need to come this way? There's not really any other way to go. Was I just not supposed to go that way before? I think I was just not supposed to come out here in the first place. It just started me by the elevator doors and I guess I assumed I was supposed to, which makes absolutely no sense now that I think about it. So my bad for all of that. All right, let's try something different. Oh, it's a wall. Don't tell me I've already hit a dead end. Don't get your wires in a bunch. This is the perfect opportunity to introduce you to new, your new abilities. It's time to witness the jaw-dropping miracle that is cyborg technology, courtesy of yours truly. Jaw-dropping miracle? That's how you're describing turning me into a walking junkyard? Hey, 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 what's with the attitude? You told me to do it, didn't you? Well, I guess you were half dead at the time, so there's a slight chance you weren't making the wisest decisions. Grr, arg, 
Don't sweat the small stuff, kid. Let's get back to your nifty new abilities. By using special electromagnetic waves to amplify your brain waves and bioelectric signals to excite the nanomachines scattered throughout the atmosphere and soil, and then applying momentum to the accumulated crystals, scientific mumbo jumbo, which leads us to an inevitable and quite beautiful conclusion. Hit that wall and you will break it. Gotcha. Well, the last part at least. All right, Y button, we finally have an attack. Oh, strike with your robot arm. Hwah! That, oh wow. I want that blue thing, I think. Yep, I did want that blue thing. Wait, wait, S strike with your robot arm. Now we're talking, now we got a game. Now I'm pushing buttons and breaking stuff. Now we are cooking with cyborg. Ooh, that, that's a... A Raga class robot. Designed for labor, but surprisingly talented at making mincemeat out of people. Yeah, I remember. I lost way too many friends to those damned things. Well, it's a good thing you've got a brilliant scientist at your side now. They won't stand a chance against your new cyborg self. Now go knock it around and fetch me some precious combat data. You know, I think you're right. I feel like I can beat that thing. Which means I finally have a way of fighting back. Maybe I can help end all this craziness. Heh, <laughs> I might even have to thank you. Just don't let it go to your head. Thank me later. For now, I'll focus on not getting hit. I haven't figured out how to make a cyborg immortal yet. Come to bitch ass papa. Oh, that was far too easy. I want the bits. Give me the bits. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Looks like I can tweak the trajectory of my attacks too. Oh, I see. All right, so we're gonna aim. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I wanna jump and wait. Oh, I wasn't hitting the right button. That's my bad. Yep. Oh, all right. Cool. Oh, neat. I can break the ground beneath my feet. Okay. So there seems to be a lot of stuff that maybe I should be breaking. Oh, what? what's up with that wall? It looks like there's some kind of yellow goo on it. Ooh, it's like gel gelatinous pee. That goo is actually nano machines in liquid form. It is robot pee. Oh, Morty Burger Week, baby. Hang on, let me work that out. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> you can recall the fragments of anything you break as long as they're covered in nano machines. What do you mean, recall? It's another nifty cyborg ability, courtesy of Dr. Amazing. Using radio waves, you can manipulate the nano machines attached to debris and pull them toward you. Think of yourself as a walking, talking nano machine magnet. It only works on smaller pieces of debris, though, so make sure you crush things up before giving it a go. R button is recall. All right. And then do what with it? I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do with it all. Did she just tell it to be good? Yep. 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 Okay. Thanks to the nano machine's tendency to form crystalline structures, any debris you recall will form a single solid mass. The more debris you recall, the larger your mass gets. So I'll never fit in these pants again. No, sorry, that was a Awful joke. Oh, that was cool. 
Uh, see, I'm guessing you've already noticed, but you can recall fragments of the robots you destroy. It's because liquid nanomachines circulate through their bodies, sort of like the blood in humans. Hmm, there's a bunch of jargon here I don't understand. Preserve your memories in the form of a quantum bits. A save point. Oh, well, that's kind of perfect, isn't it? Ensure your room is well lit and take frequent breaks. Sure, whatever you say. Well lit? You don't, who plays games in well lit rooms? That's, I want to play games in the dark. Save your, save your progress. Yes. Saving data, please do not turn off the save complete. All right, well, like I said, you're going to see more of this game in the future when we open up the collector's edition. And now that we're actually getting this game going, it's kind of cool. Save complete. So I'm actually quite digging this. And uh, the art style and all that stuff is very nice as well. Um, I didn't mean to hit that. I just wanted to go back home. Yeah, it's like 12 minutes off my clock. I'll fix it. I'll figure it out. Anyways, there you all go. That's round one of Giga Wrecker. All I enjoyed it. Back to the uh, super handsome... <laughs> I can't say it with a straight face. Shut up, ugly nerd. Finish unboxing this game. Okay, so hopefully that was a lot of fun. And again, if I can, we'll try and continue. So, uh, you know, you want to watch this one and watch the other one if you want to see more of that gameplay. But, of course, I'm filming this before I play the game, so I know nothing. But let's start taking a look at this awesome book. I mean, you can see there's a lot to look at in here. So I will try to hold on long enough for you to pause if you want to take a real clear look at any of these pages. Right now, it's mostly looking like a collector art book, which is fantastic. I do quite enjoy that, especially when it turns out to be a game I love. I really am going to have to break over. I missed about six collector's editions from them total on the Switch stuff so far out of almost 40 games. And the one I must get my hands on is the first one, Thimbleweed Park. I still love that game so much. I bought the soundtrack on vinyl, and um, yeah, I'm gonna have to eBay that. I just need that original collector's edition. <laughs> I still wanna get my hands on the Celeste collector's edition and a few of the others I missed, but if I was really gonna overpay on the secondary market for any of them, it's gonna be Thimbleweed Park. I just love that game. Um, but yeah, this is looking pretty good, man. I'm really liking the art in here. It's kind of post-apocalyptic Japanese anime schoolgirl, so I'm down for that. Mary and I just started uh, watching the anime for Dr. Stone, and by the time this comes out, I will have seen a few episodes and decided if I want to continue watching it. First episode was fascinating, since we were talking anime. So now we get some character concept stuff, so that's really cool. I do like when you get to see the sketches and the face, um, like the model sheets. I know there's a term for that, and I'm not thinking of what it is, but it kind of shows various attitudes and stuff for, usually I guess more for animators. I don't know, I guess it's concept stuff as well. And I guess we're getting a little bit of history. Yeah, we're getting some character descriptions in there. So that's pretty cool. Wow, that looks, that looks awesome. We're gonna get some giant sword stuff. That should be fun. I hope this is kind of like a hack and slash beat em up platformer. Uh, that would be kind of fun. I don't really have a clue. I guess I could look at the back of the box and <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention when I showed you guys, but uh, obviously I played the game by now. By the time you're seeing this video and I'll know, but oh, that's adorable. I like that a lot actually. So we're getting some kind of like mech stuff? Not really, no, not really mechs, but. Yeah, man. Oh, there you go. Bad to the ass. But there you go, there is the standard edition from Limited Run Games of Giga Wrecker Alt, or is it Giga Alt Wrecker? I think it's Giga Wrecker Alt. And uh, again, you know, you'll see the collector's edition when I get it, so <laughs> whoopsie. But now you know, and knowing is fun. Oh, you thought I was going to do it, didn't you? And I didn't. I'm sorry. Okay, knowing is half the battle. I don't want to leave you hanging. All right, well, let me know. What do you guys think about this game? Are you excited for it? Do you dig Limited Run? What games do you have? What games would you like to see them put out in the future? Actually, I have one for this. I want a physical copy of the Stranger Things 3 game. So that would be sweet. If you guys can do that, do that. All right, so that's my thoughts. But now I want to hear yours. So comment below. Let me know. And I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. You can check out, um, no you can't. This has nothing to do with the Stardust app. All right, I'm going to get out of here so I can go play some more stuff. Actually, I'm going to go drink some wine, watch Fear the Walking Dead, then play some more stuff. And I'll see you all, ah, 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 later.